Have you ever heard of AI powered performance monitoring for your website? Me neither, but we'll learn about it in this video. Stay tuned. What's up, LTD addicts? I am Dave Swift from that LTD.life, where I review software tools with lifetime offers. Make sure you get subscribed to the channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell because we're releasing videos each day of the week reviewing the top LTDs. I'm trying to hit every single deal AppSumo puts out. We'll see if I can keep up. So today we are talking about Hexometer. This just came out earlier this morning. I'll scroll down here to the plans and codes. This is a uptime monitor slash performance monitor, and they do say it has a artificial intelligence component to it. Now, when Whenever I hear that, I'm just, I guess I'm already jaded into thinking, oh, artificial intelligence, you mean it doesn't work? Uh, because, you know, how many products have we been offered that have artificial intelligence? They kind of end up being stinkers. But this one's actually pretty interesting. So let me go through it with you. Uh, the plans and codes are pretty straightforward. I think a lot of people were hoping this would be increased, uh, that maybe the founders would bump up the limits a little bit here. So, um, you know, maybe wait around and see if that happens. I'm making this video very shortly after the the release of the deal. So for one website is one code, $49. Two codes is going to get you three websites. And then the deal gets a little bit more interesting. So we've got five codes for three, 10 codes for four, and 15 codes for five. I think people want to see those numbers go up by a factor of anywhere from you know two to 10, I think is what people would be excited about here in AppSumo land. Uh, but you know what, I've already got my account set up, so let me show you how it works. Here is the dashboard, and right away you see that they do a nice little mock-up for you on a mobile phone, on a desktop, and what I presume to be a tablet view, even though this is kind of a laptop look, I do know that our website hides the hero image on a tablet, so I'm gonna go ahead and say this is tablet view right here. We go down the column here, we can see the server response check. Now, I just connected my website to uh, Hexometer about 10 hours ago. So this has been monitoring since earlier this morning. You can see there's been no downtime. It gives you 100% uh, uptime uh, right down here. I, I suppose over time, we'll see a nice graph where we can see, you know, times that the server lagged a little bit. We get a response time right here. Uh, 1,331 milliseconds response time. That actually seems like quite a bit uh, larger than I would like to see. But uh, we'll see if that changes over time. And then you can also uh, see you know, how your uptime varies over time. Now there are notifications we can set up. We'll look at that later so that we get notified the minute our website goes down. Over here, we see the domain and DNS check. So it's basically looking to see where your IP address is and then checking for some common uh, DNS records that you probably want to have, like a DMARC record, which helps with email deliverability, MX records, which is essential for email sending. And then we've also got a Facebook DNS verification so that you can prove to Facebook that you actually own your website. It's important if you're doing any Facebook advertising. Down here, we have the homepage assets check. Now, this is actually a little bit surprising to me. It's saying that I have 1.7 megabytes of CSS files and 1.4 megabytes of JavaScript files. That is a lot more than I expected to see. Our image files, however, are only taking up 0.95 kilobytes and the other files are 147 kilobytes. So overall, pretty small website here. We've got a total of 25 assets. The overall file size is larger than I'd like at 3.3 megabytes. Uh, moving down here, we have the homepage W3 check. It found 23 critical errors. Uh, and 14 warnings. If I wanted to refresh this, I could, uh, you know, maybe make some updates, say, hey, check again and see if we can get this number down to zero. Over here, we have a broken link scanner, and this is actually fairly useful. So the broken link scanner found a bunch of links that were broken on my website that I had actually used other scanners to try to check and it didn't identify them, but sure enough, this scanner found them. So it found 1,299 links that were successful and eight of them that were bad that need to be updated. And it also points out that we don't have a favicon. So this is giving me a whole laundry list of stuff to do right from the dashboard. We haven't really even gotten into any of the submenu items over here. Then we've got the meta tags analyzer. This is basically looking at our descriptions and our uh, titles for our web page and you see that there are 15 titles that need to be fixed. It's probably gonna be things like the titles are too long. Uh, we have, every page has a title, so that is good. 247 descriptions need fixing and 51 descriptions uh, just don't exist. So we need to add those. It looks like we have quite a bit of SEO work to do here. 
Now you may have noticed on both the meta tag section as well as the broken link scanner up here, there's the option to see more details. And I didn't click those because they are over here on the sidebar. So let's just go ahead and go right down the sidebar and see everything that is available. We'll start off in this general tab. So this is basically a checklist of the uh, DNS records they wanted us to update here. We've got the DMARC record, uh, verify the name on Facebook, add the MX record, set up an SPF record. Again, those are related to email. And then also so add that favicon and then I could you know check it off once that's complete when an item gets checked off it'll move from an open task to a resolve task you'll be able to see everything you've done to improve your website over time in the next tab down we have the broken link checker and I did mention that it found a bunch of broken links that I didn't know about and here they are now the way that broken link checker works is it's actually a WordPress plugin so I've got it installed right here on my WordPress website all I did was install it enter in a verification code so that I could sync up with hexometer and there it goes it pulls in all of the broken links for you shows you exactly what page they're on so you can go ahead and correct them here's the meta tags section you can see that there are a bunch of tasks here for us and most of it's going to be things like make the description shorter or create a meta description so this one is actually missing one altogether uh, this one is too long too long so we've got a bunch of tasks here to manage that are all uh, related to the descriptions if it can fix any of these tasks for you it'll show up over here under auto repair now unfortunately all 298 of my tasks are not able to be auto repaired so we'll have to take some time to go through the website and get those up to snuff and once again there's a result tasks section over here where all of the resolved tasks will show up after you've made the adjustments recommended in the alerts feed we can see any alerts they've put out so it actually created one it when I first scanned the website here it says six URLs were detected with a 404 response code and it's got that uh, red light status right here now I could hit load more there's not any more because I've just connected the website we haven't had any uptown time issues or any other broken links show up since that initial scan under URL monitoring, we can see the scan that already took place with 666 pages, finding six broken links. Uh, my website apparently is possessed. Uh, so here we go. We've got this 10 hours ago and its status is still red, meaning that I need to fix it. You can set this to be from a certain time period. If you want to do URL monitoring just during a certain time range, you could do definitely do that as well. And one of the big features is of course uptime monitoring where it's gonna be pinging your website once per minute to find out if it's still online. Now there are other ways to get uptime monitoring. Uh, one of the most popular is of course uptime robot. Uptime robot offers five minute pinging uh, and that's all for free. I think you get something like 25 or maybe 50 websites for free. If you pay them a little bit of money each month, they will check your websites every minute. So this is really, really handy if you manage any websites at all, you're going to want to know the minute they go down so that you know whether you need to uh, you know, move over to another server, take action, restart something. Uh, you really need to be paying attention to when the websites go down. So having some uptime monitoring is really critical. Over in the settings, we can set up notifications. Now, right now you can only get email as well as SMS notifications when your website goes down. But in the future, they're going to add this to Trello as well as Slack. So here is the pricing for Uptime Monitor to just give a comparison. Their free plan includes 50 monitors as well as uh, no SMS, but you do get email and Slack integration so you can have notifications show up right away on your Slack channel if your website goes down. This is actually what I use. The free plan works just fine. If you need to get more or you want more advanced features, you can do things like SSL monitoring, uh, advanced notifications, uh, get those SMS messages. And that plan is going to be $4.50 on an annual basis or $5.00 and 50 cents if you pay by the month. Now, Uptime Robot is just talking about uptime monitoring where Hexometer really shines is finding all of these other flaws with your website, such as broken links or meta descriptions that need to be adjusted to optimize for SEO. So I really think it's providing a great deal of value there if you're not already using another SEO tool like Ahrefs or uh, SEMrush. So I think the current offering for Hexometer is gonna be really nice for those people who have one, three, five websites and they're okay with spending $100 one time to get covered for those websites. They also get the extra SEO type of monitoring built in. I think that's kind of a no brainer at that point. It's unfortunate that this deal is not designed with agencies in mind who are managing 10, 20, 30, 40, you know, hundreds of websites. Uh, it's just not going to fit for that pricing model. So that said, I do think this is a really interesting and seemingly very high quality product. You can see the user interface is really snappy, very responsive, designed well. I'm getting a lot of really good information out of it. I uh, actually enjoy using it. It's a lot 
better than I think a lot of people are giving it credit for just because they're getting hung up on how few sites it supports. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an 8.1 out of 10. It's going to do it for this video. If you found it enjoyable, you want to help support the channel, you can click the link in the description. That is our referral link. It'll take you over to AppSumo so that you can make a purchase of Hexometer. If you do that, it kicks us back a few bucks over here. The channel helps us keep the lights on so we can make more video reviews like this one. We've got a few other tasks for you to accomplish. When you head over to the Facebook group, if you're not already a member, join up there. We're talking about LTDs all day long, every night. Uh, so <laughs> head over and meet some like-minded folks. I also want you to head over to that ltd.life. We got a brand new website and one of the best features of the website is the LTD directory where you can see a list of all of the LTDs that are available right now across all of the different marketplaces, not just AppSumo, but we're going to see all of the other deal marketplaces listed there as well. You can sort by deal type. If you're just looking for software as a service or WordPress, we've got you covered. So go check that out and I will see you in the next review.